Hello and welcome to the Holly Lodge Options Process 2020. Unfortunately, due to the current strange and exceptional circumstances, we haven't had the chance to meet with you as we normally would at our options evening to discuss the subject and the process. So we hope that this PowerPoint and the options booklet we have sent you will help guide you and your daughter through the process. Your daughter will need to think really hard about the subjects that she would like to do. She needs to ensure that they are subjects that she will do well in and enjoy and get the best results in, so that she is able to move on successfully. She also needs to be aware that her education will continue for the next five years. Our all students are now required to stay in some sort of education or training until they are 18. We hope that we will cover everything that you need to know in this PowerPoint and in the booklet. But if you have any further questions, there are contact email addresses in the booklet. As well as the subject, we have also given you the type of qualifications. GCSEs are now all exams to be taken at the end of Year 11 and there are no more modules. BTEC are accessed mainly by coursework completed across the three years, but up to 20% of modules are sat as exams. These can usually be taken more than once. Technical awards are new qualifications designed to give students a thorough understanding of skills being studied. All courses are equivalent to GCSE and all will ensure that your daughter can progress. The new GCSEs are graded 1 to 9, where 9 is the highest grade. This is awarded to only a small percentage of all students in the country. There are more and longer exams for each subject with more emphasis on knowledge recall than in the past. Hard work, organisation, attendance and revision are even more important now. A grade 4 is the equivalent of a low grade C and about the same proportion of students will achieve this as previously achieved the C nationally. Similarly, about the same number of students previously achieving an A or above should be getting a 7 or above. A grade 1 is equivalent to an old grade G. You can see the equivalences in this table. All students will have to study GCSEs in English, Math and Double Science. They will also have a lesson of Philosophy for Life and PE, although these are not examinable. Most students will study French and then have two options with them. All these qualifications will give them access to six form, colleges and apprenticeships. You may already be aware of the English Baccalaureate, or EBAC. This is a suite of qualifications which, although doesn't award any extra certificates, is preferred by colleges, universities and employers, and so makes up our core provision. It comprises of English, Math, Double Science, which could include Computer Science, depending on grade, a Humanities subject, which is History or Geography, and a Language, in our case French. Students will need to achieve a grade 5 or above in all of these subjects to achieve the English Baccalaureate. We will offer a package of support including excellent teaching, mentoring, regular progress checks followed by intervention, after school support sessions and a package of revision and review to help your daughter achieve her best grade. Your daughter's English course will cover two GCSEs, English Language and English Literature. These exams will both be taken at the end of year 11. All students must be aware that if they don't achieve a grade 4 in school, they will need to resit in year 12, wherever they are studying. There are two tiers of entry for math, higher and foundation. Again, any students not achieving a grade 4 in year 11 will have to resit in year 12. So it is really important that all students do their best to secure a minimum of a grade 4 in English and math whilst they are at school. All students will study double science. This contains elements of biology, physics and chemistry. This is excellent preparation for A-levels in each of the sciences or B-Tech applied sciences. For any students who choose a separate science option in option block 2, this means that your daughter will effectively be studying triple science. Nearly all our students study GCSE French. French results here at Holy Lodge are way above the national average. And researchers told us that anyone with a qualification in French 
is likely to earn higher wages and that it will help them with their maths and English results. Colleges, universities and employers also look favourably on candidates for the language. We realise that there are a few students for whom French is not suitable and those students will have an extra column on their options for you. We advise you to think about this process really carefully and to read all the subject information in the booklet. Just because your daughter thinks she knows about the subject does not mean that she understands the course or the assessment. All courses involve a lot of written work, even practical subjects such as PE, dance, drama, music and catering. So she will be in a classroom for a large amount of time. She may need to be videoed as part of her assessment too, so she needs to make sure that she knows exactly what she is choosing. If you or your daughter have any questions, email the member of staff responsible for that subject area. We need to have your choices by May the 15th. You can post them to school, scan them, email them from the picture whose email is in the booklet, or complete the Google form we will send you electronically. These are our different option forms, depending on whether your daughter will need to do French. The option 1 and option 2 blocks are the same for everybody. Please ensure that you take notice of the additional guidance in your daughter's form about any subject shaded orange. You will need to choose two options in each block. The subject that your daughter would most likely to, to do will be marked with a 1. She will also need to choose a reserved choice and this should be marked with a 2. In this example, the student really wants to do art in the French block, history in block 1, and acting in block 2, and so has marked all of these with a 1. However, if there is a problem with any of these, or they are oversubscribed, she will be happy to study I need you in the French block, health and social care in block 1, and business in block 2, and so has marked them with a 2. On the Google form, which you will receive via email, you will need to pick one subject in the first choice row and one subject in the second choice row for each option block. Please be aware that you will need to scroll across to see all the options for the subject. Your daughter needs to remember to think about what subject she likes and what she's good at and what she will do well in. We will use second choices where too many students have chosen a particular option. In this case, places will be given to those who choose the subject for the first choice who have the best attendance and who put in their best effort. It could also be that some subjects do not have enough students to run the course. In terms of what happens after year 11, if your daughter achieves mainly grades 6 to 9 in her GCSEs or distinctions in her BTEC, then she could go on to study 3 or 4 A levels in 6 months. If she gets mostly grades 5 to 6 in her GCSEs and merits in her BTEC, she could go on to study a um, a study programme in sixth form made up from a double BTEC, an A level, and some work experience. If she were to achieve grades four to five but not get her English or math, she could do a level two or three course that would need to reach her English or math. If she achieves grades that are mainly four and below, she could study a level one or two course at college. Apprenticeships are also available at all levels. We would love your daughter to stay with us for sixth form. Our sixth form offers excellent opportunities for students making more progress in their courses than any other sixth form, with their average grades being higher than nearly every other school and college in Liverpool. So now you and your daughter need to read through all the information we've sent you, think about the best option subjects for your daughter, and then send us these choices by May the 15th. We will sort the students into groups and see how viable they are. We'll look at the students' choices to ensure they're the best choices for them, and contact anyone who has problems with their choices. We will then write home to you in June or July to confirm them. Thank you very much.